Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears, and welcome back. On today's show, we're taking a look at both the weather for this week and spring sports. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Cece Abbey. Today is Tuesday, February 20th, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Let's start our show with a look at the weather forecast for this week. Here's Sophie with what to expect. Hey Bears, I'm Sophie Hislop here with your weekly weather forecast for this week. The beginning of the week is cool and rainy with highs in the low to mid 60s, but it warms up near the end of the week. Today we have rain with a high of 59 and a low of 50. Tomorrow is cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 48. Thursday is partly cloudy with a high of 66 and Friday is our warmest day of the week with a high of 72 and a low of 51. The weekend gets cool again with highs of 70 and 64. Stay dry, Bears. That's all for me. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Sophie. Today marks the beginning of Black Culture Celebration Week. Come, to, come at lunch today to view art created by JBHS students. Tomorrow, there'll be a hip-hop performance choreographed by Black community members. On Thursday, the JBHS Jazz Band will perform a Black piece. And finally, on Friday, wear red, black, or green and come to the quad to listen to the many genres of Black culture. If you're looking to celebrate the other cultures that make up JBHS, the Multicultural Festival is taking place March 8th. Come learn more about cultures while enjoying food and entertainment. If you'd like to see your culture represented, see Ms. Grenet in the library to ensure something is prepared. Now this week is the beginning of counselors coming to talk about classes for next year. Let's take a look at some on-campus opportunities. First, the yearbook is looking for new members. Whether you're a part of the photography career pathway or interested in a new extracurricular, there will be an informational meeting this Thursday in room 2113 during lunch for any interested students. We'll be highlighting CTE Pathways curriculum in the coming weeks. Speaking of CTE Pathways, JMJB is also looking for members. If you've taken Film and TV Production 1 or Digital Media, click the link on the online bulletin or our JMJB Instagram bio. See Ms. Meshkat in room 6207 with any questions. The brand new AP class, AP African American Studies, is open to all students next year. The class explores and analyzes the black experience from early African empires, enslavement, freedom, and beyond. See Mr. Hatch in room 2327 with any questions. All are encouraged and welcome to sign up. College Free Mentors are looking for juniors and seniors interested in learning more about the college application process and helping peers navigate post high school. Pick up an application and teacher recommendation form from Mr. Kuglin in room 1207. ASP is also open to new members and accepting applications until March 12th. Join the Google Classroom using the link on the online bulletin and make sure to attend the mandatory workday next month on March 27th from 2.30 to 5 p.m. in the ASB room. See Ms. Morreale with any questions and good luck bears. Now before we jump into college and career news, let's send it over to Brandon Robertson for a spring sports update. Good morning, Bears. This is Brandon with your Tuesday Spring Sports Update. First off, boys tennis is playing away at Pasadena today. Boys volleyball is playing Claremont today. Varsity is at 345. JV is at 515. And so is Frosh. The rest of our teams are playing later in the week, so good luck to all of our teams playing today. And back to you. Thanks, Brandon. The Glendale Community College's Early Acceptance Program is now open. There will be a workshop on February 23rd in the Computer Lab from 2.30 to 3.30, open to students who need help enrolling for the fall semester. Sign up in the Career Center. LABC will also be hosting a workshop for students and families tomorrow in the Computer Lab from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Sign up for a time slot using the QR codes posted around campus, and make sure you create your studentaid.gov account before the workshop. Finally, ending our show with club news. CSF tutoring is now available for a variety of subjects in the library after school, Monday through Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. Thursday Club will have a guest speaker tomorrow in room 2208. Finally, the Environmental Cleanup Club meets Thursday in room 1232 to discuss their Santa Monica beach cleanup. 
Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you on Thursday with another sports update and more school news. I'm Cece Abbey. And I'm Olivia Black. Have a great day, Bears.